from one which beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity to wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth, it is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a time. I'm not turning back. I know. We should stay here with them. Not a chance. It's amazing, but the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. All right, so the hello trail everybody. Leads up the mountain. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. All right, let's take it easy here. Uh, so yeah, and welcome to Rise of the Tomb Raider. This wind is crazy. We just need to keep moving. As you can see, not that you they have the names. Find anything up here, your dad would be proud. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Anyway, so they don't have the names next to the uh, subtitles as they did in the first one, but that is Jonah, I promise you. Oh, shit. you okay? Even though he does That's look different, thing. that is Jonah I'm from fine. the first game. He's, uh... But yeah, so that is Jonah. I was gonna say he's the only one that's in this game from the first one, but I do believe Sam makes an appearance. Um, I don't remember what happens to Jonah in this one. I don't think he dies. Like, I realize saying that makes it sound like he dies. I don't think he dies, because I'm pretty sure he's in the third game. I need to jump across! But yeah, we are on normal, I guess, Tomb Raider difficulty, which is normal difficulty. Because uh, turns out, I, I was checking my achievements before I started. As you can see, I don't have a thousand gamer score because I am missing these two achievements here, which is complete every level in score attack with bronze or better, and complete every level in score attack with a gold score. As you can see, I do have more bronze than gold. And I don't remember, I'm assuming that gold is just a bitch to get. I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm assuming that, like, I was working on them and then I, I found ones that I just couldn't get gold on and just gave up on it. Uh, yeah, not as many achievements that I, I can't get as I thought. Not bad. If the weather turns, we can hold up in this game. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know this is a long shot. But that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Well, I guess if I was going to hide a lost city, this might be the... 
a kind of godforsaken place, I do it. I mean, generally don't hide a city. It generally gets you. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. We're almost to the top, but you seem to be like working your way around the mountain. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. I also do like the dynamic of Laura and Joni here because, and I do believe that that happens actually quite a bit in the Tomb Raider. Let's take it slow and steady. Just stay with me. Where she has like male companions that aren't romantic interests at all, you know, which is nice because like it's like I don't mind like a romance plotline or anything. It's it's just. In games like this, it's not necessary, you know? Like, Uncharted did it good because, you know, it was him and, uh, Nathan and... Um, the fuck was her name Holy now? Shit. Um, but yeah, and like it was, it was her in all three games, but like games like this, although, granted in this one obviously you just have Jonah in all of them, I was gonna say like, if the cast rotates, it's annoying to have them have like, different romantic interests all the time. Um, but yeah, it's just nice that it's just like, they're just friends, and that's it. We made it. I see the ruins. Oh, God. So I don't know how far we'll get, like, if we get to any, like, real gameplay in this one, in this part, because it is the first part of an adventure game, and they tend not to have a whole lot. Damn it. Thought you said we had two hours, Jonah. It's sad that, like, I can tell when I'm gonna need to hit X. Like, X barely popped up there and I'd already hit it. Because <laughs> it's like, it's Laura, she's gonna fall off of everything. And everything is gonna break because she's there. Of course, it's gonna break in a very convenient way for her. Yeah, 
Keep running, girl. Put those gymnastics and shit to use. Although, I don't know. Does it, like... I guess we'll get because one of the DLCs is like, oh, Croft Man. Because I know in like the original Tomb Raider games, the way they explained how she did everything was uh, gymnastics. I don't know, because they never mentioned it in the first one of these. I don't think it gets mentioned here, but maybe in the Croft Manor DLC. greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it we age we decay we die but what do we leave behind bones dust what of the soul does it endure beyond our earthly existence i believe it does a truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories a truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Whatever happened to Lara's mom, I don't remember anybody ever mentioning her in any of the games that I've seen. The only one I ever hear talk about is her dad. The gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was unwell. No, he was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. Tombs in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. It's nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the prophet's tomb. Hey, we're heading into a war. 
more so now. You better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. You both... All right, so here we are in Syria. Uh, now, don't let this first cut, this first little bit here, give you uh, the wrong idea. They do not beat the shit out of war nearly as much in this game. Like outside of this first area, I honestly can't remember very many. Like, there was something in I don't know, brutal. I guess things happening to her. It was said the prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. Um, but yeah, uh, here's all the adventure about finding the Prophet, which, if you don't know, is Jesus. Might be what you're thinking, why is Jesus buried in Syria? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that that's what this game is. It's literally the hunt for Jesus. Something's here. Now, the thing about Syria, where we are here, is this is the only area in the game that you can't come back to until you have finished the entire game. Once you have completed the game, you can then fast travel back here using the camp, I think, like the first game. A religious uh, icon. Detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It fits with the legend of the prophet. Uh, so yeah, we you definitely, if you want that nice 100% at the end of the game, you definitely want to make sure you get everything uh, when you're first here. Otherwise you have to wait until the very end of the game, which is so annoying. And also if we check the map, you can see it has challenges, relics, documents, murals, and coin caches. Now murals and coin caches are new. Uh, I honestly don't remember what coin caches are. I don't remember if it's something that you can buy with. I, I'm not sure. I imagine you use them for something. Murals, on the other hand, as you're going to find out in a minute, are, new, are, are an entirely new mechanic uh, for this game. That is actually very important, especially for people who like collectibles. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation. I will say, she does look better in this game. She looks a little more... Uh, I, I, I want to say plump, but that makes it sound like I'm calling her fat. But no, it's like in the first game, she looked really like almost sickly skinny. You know, now granted, to be fair, like in the face, 
like the rest of her looks about the same as it did in the last game, but like just like her face in general, like it looks less uh, drawn. I, I don't know. I don't know the right word. She's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. So yes, so yes. If you read murals, they'll have words on them uh, that will increase your uh, skill within a certain language. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople, unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. Uh, but yeah, so like as you find murals, it's it'll give you this. Speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. So there we go. Our Greek is now level one. So we can now translate level one Greek. Through the desert, to the oasis. Oh. Uh, so yeah, we will have to race it up. There are more than one language. They're after the tomb. I've got to find it before them. Hmm. My Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. Go. Coin cash is revealed. Oh, okay, use it for upgrades. All right. Sure. Uh, so yeah, I think after you beat the game. Mark, I, yeah, I don't need to worry about that. But yeah, as you can see, they all get marked. Um, and yeah, that's what the monoliths are for. Um, as you find monoliths, which I, I don't know, I don't remember if they're the only thing that points you towards the coin caches. But you need the trans, but you need to translate stuff to get the coin caches. Even if you know where they are, if you haven't found the right thing to translate, you she won't dig them up. I don't think it's a secret entrance. I think it's a broken wall. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. Nice river flowing that way, and yet nobody knows it's here. Nobody decided to travel upriver. Yeah, right, so. Some of the controls have changed, like survival instincts now right click. And uh, I want to see if there was something else that changed. Um. But yeah, so Trinity, if you remember. They're already here. Um. If you remember the GPS caches from the first game, Trinity uh, was mentioned in there. And then, and that was the only mention of them in the first game at all, and then in this game all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're the bad guys. It's like, okay. And I, I'm pretty sure they're the bad guys in the, in the third game as well. Uh, don't remember Trinity. In the old two Raider games. Order of Trinity pursued the prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Um, that doesn't mean that Away they through. weren't there. I remember some like flying like dragon-looking bitch that I had to fight in a couple of the games, a couple of the old games, but. Uh, and a bunch of other Tomb Raiders. I remember them. They were some. They were some characters, all right. You believe there was one that had like rollerblades on or a skateboard or something. Come on. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember Trinity being a thing in the original games. But it's uh. It's been a significant amount of time since I played those games, so did get all the achievements. In the oh, 
Also, since this is the first episode of it, uh, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing me play the Endurance DLC. There was a battle um, here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. Gift of arms. I don't know what the fuck that means either. I do have eight of the coins though. Yeah, yeah, documents, relics, resources. Uh, yeah, the obviously the upgrade system in that is. Mm. Yeah, I mean the the upgrade system is obviously much more advanced in this one than it was in the previous game. My son. The Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic. Claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? So yeah, as you may have noticed there, when I picked this up, I also got some uh, trans or some added Greek translation there, which is nice. The prophet slain by the order of Trinity. Uh, so that I do believe was the final mural, right? Yeah, four documents. I do believe, and the challenge, I do remember what the challenge is in this place. I do believe that the challenge is at the very end, though. It's only in the last area. And if I recall, it's kind of a bitch as well. Right now, I'm looking for a rat. Because I saw them when I came in. And I kind of want to shoot one and see if it's worth it. But there don't seem to be any here anymore, so. Oh, right. That was too close. I forgot about this. There's traps as well. They added a bunch of traps to this game. Which you might think, but you said that they didn't beat the shit out of lore in this. I mean in cutscenes. You can obviously fuck up and get the crap kicked out of you in this game. They're blasting their way in. Of course they are. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, you can, uh... I don't remember what I was saying. Now. Let's hope this works. I really don't remember. I really, really don't. I hope they fix their hair for this one. It was kind of bugging me in the last game. Oh, right, the traps. Uh, so most of them have ways to avoid them. Um, and I do believe you go slow-mo and you can save yourself from traps. Like that. Yeah, there is a lot of traps. Oh, rap and tapping rapidly. Because there wasn't enough tapping in this game. So the shit you gotta bust open, now you gotta do it just to see. You know, that's another thing. I, I don't remember there being too much swimming in this game either. But. I remember it being like a big part of the uh, old games. Stunning. We made it, Dad. All right. So now, if I'm not mistaken.
there's it just says challenges complete. Oh, the coin caches are still here. Um, there's something to destroy. There's some amount of them in this room to destroy. Oh, wait. This? Yeah, there it is. The gold incense burners. That was rather difficult. Oh, I see this one, too. So there's seven of them. Okay. Uh, they are all over the fucking place here. I do believe. Like, you would think based, like... For how much of the story this place is, it's just not a lot. Um, they actually put a lot of effort into it, like, which makes it sound like uh, you know more effort than they had to or something. But it's like, well, I mean, to be fair, that isn't wrong. They definitely put in more effort than they had to because they actually made it like a full-on location when they very easily could have just said "fuck it" and just you know threw a bunch of crap away. Or threw a bunch of crap in it. I don't think there's a way to screw yourself in this. So we should be free to, like, flood this place. I don't think you can screw us over. I don't remember if those incense burners will show up on the. survivor instincts or whatever the hell it's called and yeah I don't think there I don't think we swim underwater but I do like I said I do although maybe uh oh wait ah uh, left trigger goes underwater but it just like that little bit it's like I don't seem to be able to go down any further than that so that may not even be like a and under like a swim underwater thing that might just be like a hide from enemies during combat thing. Yeah, obviously we'll have to get that open. Although water is already coming through it, so how it's not you know being open already, I don't know. Um, I don't know where the other five of them are. I know that there's artifacts and shit. Too. I have to show my map, obviously, but. What? Oh, broke it. But that's fine. Flood it! Flood it more! Let the water rise! Okay. That looks like all the water we can get, and the reason that's in because there shouldn't be any collectibles below this level then. Now there was an incense burner there. The game is making sounds that make it seem like I should be finding something or seeing something that I'm not. Does that mean there's an... Does that mean that there's one there? I mean, that could be where the one was, but if that's the case, why isn't there one on the other side, you know? Because I did shoot one over here. There another? I thought I saw my cursor flash right there for a second, but... Yeah, I don't, like, I don't remember what the coins are for. Maybe they're important. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this marker is for. Although it does look like there's a path, like, through there or something. I obviously can't swim through there, maybe. At least not from this side, but about here. Maybe I should make sure. Yeah, it looks like it's. Yeah, 
interesting. Yeah, it seems like there should be a path in behind this somehow. Maybe it's just up higher. These maps aren't the best at uh, showing height, you know. I do like how when you get out of the water, she does like fix her hair. To I'm assuming try and get more of the uh, water out of it. Oh, so that's what they look like. How much ammo? I got? Oh, okay, I got infinite ammo. I don't remember if pistol has always infinite ammo. I don't. I feel like it doesn't. That could just be. For I'm getting some vibrations in my controller though, just like periodic ones, which is a little weird, but... Oh, there's one. Two left. Should probably assume that they're like... Oh, and there's also a... Let me cash here. Is? I should probably assume that the last two are probably on the other side, just because. Because, I mean, that seems like a lot to be on one side. There's none on the other side. Oh. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless, his people have propped another man up in the slain prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the prophet is dead. This, I swear. So this is Long Inus then, right? Because he, he drove the spear into his heart. That would have to be Long Inus, right? This area over here is bothering me. Because, like, I'm not seeing any ways that I would, like, get across either. Yeah, see, she doesn't catch it to scramble up it until she gets lower. I guess if I jumped on top of this, I could jump up there and then get across and behind this place, I guess. I don't remember how visible any of the traps are. I know that there's ones in the floor that'll like drop you onto spikes, you know, that classic trap. There's that one. Now, what are the odds I can get the last one? Because I did... Oh, and boosh. Fuck yeah. Hang him high completed. Got back here. Uh, not a whole lot. Got our other coin cash, though. Do you remember seeing that on the map? I wonder, do I have to like craft my fire arrows and shit this time maybe with all those craft supplies and that? Maybe. Okay, so this is how I go up. Oh, but there's some oh. I thought I saw something as I turned my camera there, but maybe not. I definitely see this over here. Oh, is this our map? Yeah, it is. The map, the map. Okay, and it shows us what height they're at. So that document is higher, this relic. It's down there. Nice. Oh, was she grabbing onto something? Because she jumped really weird that way. Another religious symbol. This one is... Simple and handmade. Prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. 
Yeah, you'll do that when you can convince people you're the son of God. So you can also climb the front of this, but I don't know whether it's necessary. Uh... That's all we got left, right, is the documents and, and right? Uh, yes, just the two documents that we can see. One, I do believe, will be the final thing we collect in here, and it'll trigger the cutscene. Yeah, see, so if we had came across this and just like walked over it, I do believe it would have given us a slow time thing. And it uh, would have been a quick time event to jump so that you didn't die. But as you saw there, keep your eyes peeled or just watch and use your cursor. Knock out the traps. And I don't have a map of the traps either. That's a good thing. I just remembered traps being a bitch. I don't remember traps being a, a real big thing in like the majority of the game. But for the purposes of this first dungeon, at the very least, I remember them being annoying as fuck. My lord, I ride at the head of a small army of the faithful, armed and ready. And I have good news. We have located the Tomb of the Prophet. We were attacked by madmen upon the road, wearing the Prophet's livery, but they were easily bested. We allowed one to flee, and followed him back to the Oasis. Whether the Prophet escaped death, or whether another now wears his mantle, it does not matter. All will perish inside, and it will become a tomb at last. Hey, Arginus, hot on the trail. I don't know what good that does. Maybe we can flood it even more and we need it or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think we're about to flood it even more, actually. Okay, so all we got left is this document. Got to raise the water. Which is not nearly as high as it looks. I mean, obviously jumping on that would raise the water, but I don't like that that document is there. I also don't think, like, I think once you've revealed the traps, I don't think she'll jump off. You know, I looked over there when I was down here, and I didn't see it, because I was like, they got to have something here. Turns out My I was Lord. like... The last remnant of the Prophet's followers have barricaded themselves inside his tomb. We have made camp at the entrance, and we are preparing to break through their barricades. I saw the man claiming to be the Prophet before they sealed the gates, and I admit, he bears a striking resemblance. But it could not be. No matter. They will all be dead before sunrise. The Order of Trinity will see that his heresy ends here. Alright. And yeah. I was gonna say, and they got the shit kicked out of them. But yes, our Greek is now level 2 because we found all that. I honestly don't remember how much Greek comes into the rest of the game. I know we need, like, Russian. I do believe, because we end up with a bunch of Russian things again. Um. I think we actually go to Russia. Like, I think that's where we are. Like, when we're climbing the mountain, I'm pretty sure that's in Russia. Where did my, uh... So obviously just jumping on it is good for
Yeah, I'm not gonna activate survival instincts. I prefer to figure it out myself. Thanks, though. I do like that it's an option, but... I may mean, like it for finding collectibles. Oh, just a pile of money on the ground? Sure. Two coins, eh? That looked like a hell of a lot more than two. Alright, um... So that raised the water even more. I seem to be trying to get that raft up and over, maybe? Uh, I could try jumping up there. I don't see how that would help. All I was trying to do was just get the raft right there. Yep, alright. Well, now I feel kind of dumb. Oh, well, maybe not. Hold on, Laura. So I do believe that's the... Yeah, see, I can't even open the map. Oh, no, there it goes. Uh, yeah, okay, so good. We did get everything in Syria. Awesome. the charges! The Prophet's tomb. After all this time. And the artifact inside. Smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me. You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Yes, or run. I don't think that we can loot these guys yet. 
Oh, we can sprint now. Oh, catch. Sprinting's new. See light! Run, Laura, run! Laura. There's so much I need to tell you. I don't. Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes. But I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty. But I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact that your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would... It would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah. We've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katash. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? If I let them do it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. 
Siberia it is then. If you can hear me, go back. Please don't try to find me. I need to do this alone. I mean, to be fair, the only reason you did do it alone is because then people would complain about it. Uh, this game not having a co-op feature if there was going to be two people all the time. Like I said, I don't remember what happens to Jonah. I He doesn't seem the type that would actually go away. But I just don't remember him being in the game very much. Maybe he like, breaks a leg or something and can't follow her up. Uh, but just like the last game, there are camps. You can do this. Move. And we should be able to find one soon. And we'll, we should be able to do the same as we did in the last game and, like, camp. stop or end and begin at different camps. Okay. Okay. Got to start a fire. Oh, right. I, do, I, I vaguely remember this now. So, yeah. Survival instincts to highlight stuff, right? It's like you need to like collect wood and shit to actually light the campfires, I do believe. Not enough to last the night. Uh, need to gather more. Dry enough to burn. I hope. It's windy enough. Fresh kill. No need for it. Back to camp. They saw that I got four pelt and one antlers. I really don't remember too much about the crafting in this game. No, what all you need to do. Come on, Lord, just get behind the thing there. To need a stronger bow. I wish this pain wasn't so familiar. Like looking an old enemy in the eye. It wants to take me down. It wants me to just lie down and die. But I won't. I can't. There's something here. There must be, or Trinity wouldn't be in this snowy hell. I just hope that Jonah is okay. That he found a way back. I. I just couldn't risk having him with me. Not again. The pain of losing him, that would be too much to bear. This is my path, and mine alone. 
Okay, so as you can see, you actually need different crafting materials to get your upgrades this time. Uh, you can see a lot of cloth, and then that's instead of just standard scrap like in the last one. Uh, what are the upgrades for this? A wrapped handle, honed edge, increased pry speed, uh, do willy mainly attack. armor shatters and as you can see we also need crafting an enhancement tool almost instant prying of doors and strong boxes nice um oh what the hell is that oh so we can actually get like different bows so we have eight different bows we can get in that all right so let's see we have expedition jacket modern use of Palette for mountain climbing, other expeditions, leather jacket, which is the one that she's been wearing in the other cutscenes. Siberian Ranger, increased carrying capacity of all special ammunition. Uh, fires, firing bullets and shells sometimes won't reduce the count of available ammo, so sometimes you get free shots. Uh, reduces the delay before health begins to regenerate. When damaged, okay, so increased health regen. Uh, non predatory animals scare less easy, making them easier prey. It's not a bad one, at least for areas that we need to hunt. All damage from predatory animals is decreased, and there is a lot more of them in this one. We've got to fight a bear at some point, too. Chance of losing an exotic animal resource from a common animal. That's interesting. It's a winner so far. Reduces damage from Greek fire. I don't know how much that comes into play in this game. Wow. Does not really suit the aesthetic of this game, though I can tell you that much. Fire and arrows sometimes won't reduce the count of K, okay, so sometimes we get free arrows. Uh, increase explosive arrow radius, obviously worthless to us until we actually get explosive arrows. Increase melee damage. Uh, manual healing has a chance to bandage without, okay, so sometimes you can heal without using up the resource. That one's not bad. Uh, okay, and then this is just a regular shirt. Looks like Nathan Drake's shirt. Whiteout jacket, eh? Helps keep cool and blend into snowy surroundings, which makes it sound like it would have a stealth effect. It does not. Reimagined and Arctic outfit. Oh, from Tomb Raider 3. Okay, I don't remember enough of it. To... Well, I gotta say... This one probably seems the best right now. Chance of looting an exotic animal resource, right? I will say, all the outfits do look good. They don't have any special ammo. That one... Yeah, I think we'll stick with this for now. Uh, once we get into more combat heavy sections, maybe we'll maybe we'll get into it, but Okay, so what can we craft? A hunter's quiver. Okay, so bigger quivers. Have increases resource okay, so that one will be one that we should get probably rather as soon as possible, you know. Can carry more resources. Uh, I need a different skill for that, but that's fine. Stock mounted shell holder, bandolier, rifle ammo pouch, larger one, pistol ammo. Okay. Okay, let's see what skills we can get. Brawler, we got thick skinned, less damage from enemy gunfire, melee attacks, uh, significant less damage from explosions of fire, incapacitate unarmored enemies while dodging. Enemies killed while in stealth will be automatically looted for resources. Nice, but not necessary at the beginning. Uh, gain a chance of recovering arrows and looting enemies killed with a bow. Always nice. Uh, increased steady, steady aim time on bow charge shots. Amount of ammo looted from corpses. Animals globally use five bones to large amount of leaf footprints and blood trails that are easy to follow. Uh, let's see, I feel like... Those two might be good to get first, to find the exotic animals first. I imagine this tier, eight more skills, yeah. 
Uh, faster crafting of throwable objects and ammo when on the run. I don't think I generally don't craft while in combat, so I don't think that's useful. Enemies killed or knocked out from crafted handheld objects yield more XP. Well, more XP is always nice. Crafted incendiary bombs. Oh, interesting. From gas cans and deadly proximity mines from enemy radios. Land safely without damage from substantial height. Press B to roll when landing. Earn bonus XP from survival caches, document relics, and challenges. Find challenge objects more easily. Alright, so we're going to get this one because obviously more experience is always good. Level up faster. That is always a good first one to get. And this would let us find survival or use our survival instincts to find challenge objects. Um, but I kind of want to get this one so that we can get that one. So we'll do that. All right. And that'll be it for this part then. Next part, we'll pick up from here and we'll head more into Siberia. And yeah, that'll be it for this part. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on Friday for more.